everybody. This is Quint Lears with NewHomeSales.com. I am so excited to have David Knox here. David, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for being here. I appreciate being on your video. So I'm curious to see what it's all about. And glad to be a part of it. Thanks so much. And I, you know, quick question, who motivates the motivator? The answer is David Knox. David Knox is one of the premier national trainers speaking to over 20,000 people every single year. I'm super proud to have you. David, what are you seeing right now uh, in the real estate market? To just one, one, one trend right now that you're, that, that's big. Well, the big trend right now, obviously, is you know, a shortage of inventory. So everybody's looking for listings. And, uh, and a lot of agents have been used to working with buyers. So when they have to switch with listings, they go, oh, I don't know what to do. And listings, uh, they're more demanding, they're more challenging, they're more competitive. But I think agents need to be good at that. So that's one of the things I'm seeing. The other thing I'm seeing is everybody, they're often hiding behind their technology. They're looking for the next shiny app and little device and stuff like that. And when I go around the country and talk to the people who are making the money, even the, the younger guys, the high tech guys are saying, yeah, I've got Instagram, I got Facebook, I got a smartphone. We said, the way I'm making my money is to talk to people face to face. That's where they're making their money, calling past clients, uh, holding events where people come and they can visit with them. So the one on one face to face is where they're making their real money. Excellent. David, um, and you are a sales trainer with Steinborn and Associates Real Estate. And I want to. One of my many uh, subscribers to the online training, yes. And they're a really great company and they do a great job using the training, absolutely. Yeah, and I want to thank them uh, for you know, allowing us to come in here. I know they invest a lot of money. I know you're a highly sought after trainer. What makes you different? Because there's so many trainers out there trying to do what you do, but you're you're the pro's pro. Tell me, why is your training different? Yeah, there's a lot of great people on the circuit. You know, good friends of mine, the Ferries and Buffinis, and we can go on and on, and Larry Kendall. There's so many good ones out there. I think what differentiates my online training is that we show real agents on actual transactions. They're not role plays. I do some role plays, but we bring real transactions to life, so that's unique. And I think in terms of what makes me, I don't want to compare myself to other trainers, but what makes what I like to bring to a seminar is reality, integrity, integrity and treating people like people. I don't teach stupid dialogues that you know you would never use with people. It's just asking open questions, getting to know them as people, respect who they are, get to their dominant motivations. And most of the people who sit through my seminars I go, I could do all that. They're comfortable with it because there's no, it's all real high integrity, getting to know another human being, no stupid tricks. You're the guy on the front line. So um, for all the sales managers, for all the field trainers out there, Give, give me a tip for the people watching saying, you know, I got these guys, they're not motivated, they won't learn the training. I mean, give me, give me one or two quick tips. Well, first of all, I think you have to let go of the salespeople. There's some salespeople, they're, they're great human beings, but they can't sell mittens in a blizzard. You know, you've got those people, and I think you have to find a way to ease them out of the business, career adjust, decruit, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> and then for the ones who want to do well, I think the best thing a manager can do is one-on-one -on -one meetings. You know, Ken Blanchard called it um, the one minute manager. Manage it by walking around, spend some time with your agents and sit down and say, <clears throat> tell me how it's going, how's your life, what do you need, how's your business going? And, and offer to do what I call permission coaching where say, do I have your permission to hold you accountable for doing certain videos and tasks and actions. And if they say, yeah, I want some help, then great. Let's put you on a, let's meet every Friday and go through the list of behaviors. How many open houses for sale by owners? How many calls did you make? And keep them focused on activities. You can't hold them accountable for listings and sales, but you can hold them accountable for the activities. Like I can't hold you accountable for what you weigh at the end of the week, but I can, how many glasses of water, how many fruits, how many vegetables, how many meals, what did you, did you make sure your last meal was before six o'clock? Did you do your 20 minutes of exercise? Because if you focus on the behavior what they do the rest will take care of itself um, great great information uh, Dave Stone in his book he's the new home sales legend um, he says you don't try new home sales new home sales tries you and and there's a lot of people that are beat up they're on the front lines they're discouraged what advice would you have for them how do you stay up because you, again you're the guy front lines getting beat up all the pressure How's the sales stay up? yeah yeah like so um, you know it's a tough business give me one or two tips to last you've got enduring power you're still motivated i can sense it i feel it from you so w how what advice for a new home salesperson that feels discouraged that that's watching that says you know i'm i don't have any motivation well if they for some people the, this industry isn't for them and they should get out so we forget that answer you know half half the realtors in america could leave and no one would miss them and i don't mean that as a cruel way they're just they're great human beings but they just probably aren't salespeople. Uh, but in terms of how do you 
stay motivated is work with high probability buyers and sellers. You know, people said, you know, how do I get people to say yes? Well, stop working with the people who say no. That's a simple answer, but find out who's motivated, who wants to buy now, who wants to sell now. Time-based questions. Uh, one of the best questions you ask somebody is, how much longer do you plan to stay in your current home? And if it's past about a year, put them on a waiting list. Um, how, how soon do you want to buy a home? And those, and then you're working with people who are actually looking to buy and sell. Um, for residential agents, uh, open houses are a great way to meet people. They're, most of them want to do something. So why not talk to the people who are out in the market and get to know them? And then the other major thing uh, is stay in touch with your sphere of influence. Great tip. You know. um, and w last question, I want to ask you, um, it's a lot. I mean, some trainers work with 500 people a year, 1,000 people or 5,000. I mean, why, why go all the way to 20,000 plus internationally? I mean, why push yourself that hard? What gets you up in the bed? Why do what you do? What, what is it that motivates you? Well, I don't measure by the number of salespeople who subscribe or in my audience. I measure for how many days I speak here, how many live appearances. And what keeps me going is I just like working with audiences. I mean, it's, it's fun. What the heck? It's a lot of fun. You get to work with agents and uh, it pays well. But more importantly, people come up and they tell me, you know, that their business got better because of something I said. And that's nice to know that I can impact people's lives. And public speaking is fun. It's a kick. I love it. No, thank you. And uh, you had mentioned people connect with you. How can we connect? Because there's people that maybe want to get a newsletter, want to connect with you online. How do they do that? Well, DavidDocs.com will lead you to our physical products, DVDs, and things like that. And then from there, you can go to, if you're a broker, owner, manager, you can subscribe to our online real estate training. Right now, there's 378 videos. It begins at 147 a month for 25 agents, goes up from there. And a lot of people know me by pricing your home to sell. It was on VHS years ago, then DVD, and now it's online where, uh, I don't have the phone on me, but you can actually tap an app and email uh, all of our videos to your buyers and sellers by just tapping on the app. You can email it to them, you can play it on your iPhone, and and it's a great way to get them a price right, stage it, all those things. <coughs> That's realestateconsumervideos.com. Yeah, and, I'll, and I'll post that link. Uh, John and Amy Hummer, again, I want to thank them. They've spent a lot of money bringing David out here, flying and, and stuff. And they invest a lot in their company and bringing top trainers like yourself to their company. What advice would you have for the brokers or the company owners that say, you know, we don't have time. We don't have the money. Uh, our agents don't want the training. They... What advice would you have for company owner? Agent doesn't want training. Yeah. And if they really don't want training, I guess I'd take a look at them. The top agents are the ones that know they need to get better and fine tune. The newer agents know they need training. And I think as a broker owner manager, you know, the three R's recruit, train, retain. I mean, you, <laughs> do you want to, you want to keep them incompetent? Do you want to have non-trained agents? Is that I'm going to succeed through incompetence? I think you have to train them somehow, some way. Yeah. Um, either you do it, hire somebody to do it. There's, a, but my gosh, <laughs> that's what this is about. And and uh, again, David is a sought-after keynote speaker. If you've got an event, this is the guy you want to hire. If you're a sales trainer, manager, this is the guy you want to follow. Mr. Knox, hey, really a privilege. Thanks for being on NewHomeSales.com. Thank